To read the chart correctly, traders need to combine price action rules with the market structure. Now, the uptrend is the strongest bias at this point on. However, it had the break, new extreme, and the downtrend started. The question arises now whether this downtrend is a strong downtrend on its own or this is just a correction. I can use the knowledge of price session and the market structure to help me determine and distinguish that this is a brand new downtrend starting on its own or this is just a correction. Now the way price session moves, it moves in the form of a two-legged pullback. The market likes to move in pairs of twos. For that reason, if I'm going to measure the first leg down, I'm just going to copy it and put it right here. This is a two-legged visual larger pullback, which is already indicating that this downtrend is not as strong and this may just be a correction. In order for me to confirm this initial analysis, I'm going to pay attention to how exponential moving average is going to react. Because if this downtrend is stronger than I first initially expected, the EMA is going to hold and prices are going to get rejected and they're going to continue pushing lower. But it didn't happen here. We had a new low form, series of three bullish bars, first entry short, push above EMA, second entry short. Prices are already pushing above exponential moving average, which is confirming the main stronger initial bias. And this just is a two-legged correction. Now, this is a second entry short, second attempt to sell. But everybody who's going to go short here is going to get trapped. Why? Well, first, the signal bar is horrible. It is a doji bar bullish, which is not strong enough signal for sellers to sell. But more importantly, it is on the wrong side of the exponential moving average. Sellers need to sell below EMA. They need to see rejection of the EMA. Price is pushed above, which confirm the bullish momentum and the two-legged pullback. So if anything, we can look for sellers to get trapped. This is the new low, first entry short, pullback, second entry short, couple ticks lower, into reversal up, and sellers are panicking as they're seeing the bullish bar reversing straight up. Now this is a high probability setup because downtrend played out, strong push above EMA confirming the initial bullish momentum. And if I'm gonna put the midline inside of this string range, I can see that the bottom half is completely empty indicating a decent bullish imbalance however this bar is quite big you would have to put the stop loss always one tick below the single bar so it is quite a big of a risk before the market open however from price action perspective great high priority setup at that point on prices are pushing above exponential moving average which is confirming the main bullish bias and traders are just following the market structure there are shortened channels in between break new high downtrend working lower Notice another push above EMA similar to here. This is a new high. We have a first entry long here, pull back, second entry long. First entry long, pull back, second entry long. But notice the difference here. The downtrend is still in play. Prices didn't even attempt it to break below EMA and create a move down. So even though this is a second entry long, this is also a high low. It is a second entry long when we come from the highs. The reason why we come from the highs is because the structure is bullish. So to identify a two-legged pullback, second entry long high priority setup, we need to select the highest high. But from the low, this right here is a higher low because the low of this bar is higher than this pivot right here. So second entry long and high low, but it is not confirming much. The downtrend is still in play. There is no new low. So it is better to wait for a true confirmation, a trap. Another second entry short, similar pattern right here because the buy is getting quite bullish and traders taking a second entry short may most likely result into a trap if it forms correctly. We have a second entry short failure right here, but it is far away from exponential moving average. It can just continue pushing a little bit lower, stopping you out and then continue pushing higher. However, prices keep working to the upside, which is already a clue that the bias is getting quite strong bullish. EMA is pointing up, it's no longer flat. So I need to identify a pattern. There is this wider uptrend using the first two swings, looks like a spike consolidation and the uptrend is started now i'm just going to copy it put it at the top now this is a bullish structure this is a bullish trend so i'm still looking for high priority setups to go long however notice what i have i have overshoot which can lead to a break of a trend line or possibly straight up reversal now if i'm not sure whether this is a true valid overshoot or the channel just maybe a slightly wider because there's additional swing to use right here i still need to pay attention to the corrections and I need to skip the first second entry long and possibly even wait for high low. That's the safest way to do it because overshoot can lead to break of a channel. We have a new high, first entry long, second entry long, but it is far away from EMA. 
Then we almost have what looks like a double trap, but there is no trigger above bullish bar. Inside bar is bearish bar, you cannot go long above it. This bar, half of his body is bearish thin. All of it getting stacked, no good trigger, bad bars, so there is no entry right here. It is better to wait for high low, because at this point when you're playing this channel right here, you may have a potential overshoot. So the confirmation that this is a good enough reason to go long is going to be a high low, which high low from here, but notice still gap between the EMA. The high low is too far up and there is no room to, excuse me, there is too much room between the high low and the exponential moving average. So prices may correct and indeed they did. Now we have a new low. This is the lowest pivot right here. First entry short, pull back, second entry short. Why are we concerned with second entry shorts when the structure is bullish? Well, it's simple because second entry short can result into a trap if it forms on the right conditions. Okay, it is at the exponential moving average, so the condition is okay. It is at the key entry point because you have a new low, first entry short pullback, second entry short failure. But notice the signal bar, more than half of its body is a very stim, indicating that at the close of this bar, a lot of sellers started selling, and this is not what I want to see. If you disregard a signal bar, you can see what would have happened. You would have gotten stopped out just to see it go where you thought it was going to go. So there is no good signal bar. You just have to be patient. And then we have a new high, first entry long. So at this point on EMA is holding nicely. This is good confirmation of the bullish momentum. The structure is looking quite decent bullish. So I'm just looking for high probability setup to go long. This looks very close to being a two leg pullback. This looks like a visual two legs. First leg, pullback, second leg down. But notice micro double top resets the count. We have matching highs right here, which means unfortunately I have to reset the count and I have only a first entry long. It is at the EMA. It is almost borderline looking like a to like a pullback, but it is technically just a first entry long and I have to reset the count. So unfortunately, there is no high probability setup. And notice how tempting the shorts are, but you have to follow the rules. Do not counter and trade. Don't pick a top. You can see everybody selling here, keeping their stops above these highs right here. And you can see a strong bullish momentum, series of bullish bars indicating that all of these stops are being taken out and a strong bullish momentum is piling up. So never try to pick a top no matter how good the single bar to the short side is looking. Now at this point on the structure is very strong bullish uptrend. So I'm just thinking about high probability steps to go long. We have a new high, bearish correction, break of the channel, close outside, a new low indicating that this downtrend played out. It is a new high, first entry long, pull back, second entry long. It is at the EMA. Not only that, there's a triple test right here, additional confirmation and strong support and if you look at a hard right side of the chart like this, this is what you would see. You would see a very strong uptrend line here. You would see EMA rejecting prices every single time. So there are multiple reasons here to pull the trigger and to go long. And I actually got burned here. I took this losing trade myself. But it's a downtrend play though to break new low, second entry long. EMA and triple test holding. Decent enough bullish bar. It is a little bit stacked. But there are multiple reasons for you to take a risk here because string is about probabilities. You never know how the trade is going to play out and this was a decent entry to take a chance on because if you look at the high right side you see how strong of an uptrend right here this is there's no indication that the market will pivot like that now you can see that the correction was stronger more significant we have a first break of the channel which means i expect for prices to create new extreme i have a high low i don't get a felt second entry short above ema which would be a safer setup because this would be a high probability setup to confirm prices are heading to create new high. So we don't get a first second entry short and market continues correcting stronger. Now this is quite a significant downtrend, but I'm still leaning towards following the bigger pattern and this uptrend still needs to get new extreme. All right, we have a break, new extreme and prices are reversing. Notice we have similar situation like we had right here. Technically, this is the lowest low and we have a first entry short pullback, second entry short failure. All right, downtrend played out with the break new low, indicating the downtrend played out. This uptrend still expects new extreme. So this may be a failed second entry short, but once I see so many matching lows in the smaller chain range, I can basically reset the count. So this is just a high low. But even if this was a failed second entry short, notice you're going long on its very high, not really forming at the EMA. You could have easily gotten stopped out. I think this is way too aggressive entry to take. Now, uptrend continuing working higher, break new high, and market strongly reversed down, which was quite surprising 
but this is indicating that something is changing and something has changed because you would expect for prices to create new high for the uptrend but this looks like bulls have thrown the towel and the bias is completely changing because you strongly push bull EMA you have a new high first entry long pullback second entry long failure but doji bar above exponential moving average plus you're not really sure whether the new high is truly going to be retested or not after market kept pushing lower and you have another new high first entry long second entry long failure so this is another failed second entry long the good thing about this is now it confirmed the wider channel because these first two swings can possibly sell a wider channel and this right here confirmed it and even ema keeps holding the signal bar is not the best you know what i will mark it this is quite a decent setup because it is first entry long second entry long failure at this point on two key entry points decent enough setup but notice the downtrend started and was strong bearish move to the downside now at this point on it is obvious that the uptrend is not going to get new extreme this strong of a downtrend is a brand new pattern that i need to focus and i'm just following the price session i'm just following the trend line rule now this is the downtrend you can see multiple confirmations off the top i'm going to redraw the shortened channel because i want to follow the trend line rule we have a break new extreme and notice just like right here visual two legs down we have clear first leg up pull back second leg up so this is a visual two leg up pull back and also new low first entry short pull back second entry short there is no trigger higher here to form a second entry short there is a trigger above this bar right here but there is no break below so this is just a first entry short pull back second entry short right here big bearish bar it is one tick above the ema but that's not such a big of a deal because the downtrend needs to get new extreme following the trend line rule after break you expect new extreme uptrend played out with the break and new high indicating that it is okay to go short and is a second entry short larger to like a pullback big bearish bar this was so quick and you can see there is no tick higher you would have to be really quick but this is a great high probability setup downtrend created new extreme and market started to correct now notice uptrend played out with the brand new high there was no strong reversal pattern which is what you would typically expect after there is end of one trend a brand new trend starting with a reversal pattern but they never formed instead ema got completely flat and market continue sideways for way too long now when i was watching this this made me think that we may enter a trading range rather than to reverse so once we were pushing higher i was still expecting for prices to revert back into a trend range just because we didn't truly get reversal pattern this was such a lackluster reversal we were sideways for a long time notice so many up and down up and downs flat ema but it ended up being uptrend working higher but there is no good long regardless just only a first entry long new high first entry long new high first entry long then you have a break and a new extreme but market didn't continue pushing lower and continue pushing higher now at this point on you are a little bit more leery of the structure because there is no clear trend all the trends are playing out and prices are just indecisive and we can see if i'm going to zoom out we are in a longer bigger trend range okay move up move down move up move down move up so there is a brand new bigger trend range at the upper half of this chart so i'm going to redraw the key levels and right here we're coming from the bottom so I expect for prices to reach the resistance all right so not that many high priority setups but i'm going to right now follow the price action we have a break new high correction another move to new high probably indicates that there may be a larger bigger uptrend price is corrected new high first entry long second entry long confirming the wider channel market move higher never after the high low new high first entry long second entry long horrible bearish bar break out the channel attempt to create new extreme triple test almost new extreme form strong bearish reversal break of a channel downtrend needs to get new extreme new low formed first entry short pull back second entry short now this is not fully at exponential moving average but two matching bars like this looking like a high low going long into ema one tick higher reversal down bar closing on its very low there is no stim at the bottom this is indicating strong bearish momentum this is a nice bearish reversal bar 
This is such a strong bar and momentum and the downtrend is to get new extreme second entry short. Even though it's not perfectly at the EMA, quite aggressive entry, but you really figure that buyers just got trapped, deep spike off the triple top, indicating that this move was quite strong. And this right here is a decent setup to go short. After that, market created a break, new extreme. So you can see that the following these shortened channels, break new low, break attempt to create new high, market working lower, break new low. A couple of these channels didn't get new extreme, especially this big one today didn't get a new extreme. It was quite surprising. But after this area right here, which you had a significant correction. And when you have such a strong correction and you have felt second entry short here, this is the last chance for buyers to prove that the market is going to create new high. The fact that it didn't, this is where you have to switch the gears. And at this point on, this is just a larger trend range. So we're coming from the lows, reaching the highs, but there is momentum change because uptrend has a break new high, downtrend has a break new low, brand new uptrend started. You have a two-legged pullback here, but prices broke below EMA. EMA is right now flat in the middle of these bars. The EMA didn't hold here. If the EMA held here, it would have been much better. But here, not that great setup. You get a double trap, but inside bar again, too stacked. You get a high low, but you're buying quite high. Let me see. This is not a bad setup. Very tempting setup because you have room to these highs, but still a little bit too far up. Market created new high. After this trend had a break, new extreme, new high formed, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, failure. It is above EMA, market continue pushing lower, new low, first entry short, pullback, second entry short. Notice there was one tick higher and instant reversal down. Now, when I saw this, I took this right here. I thought that this will set up a brand new downtrend like this, because at first you're watching this with the break and new low. But the downtrend is quite significant and once the trigger high reverse down this confirmed that there may be a potential wider channel because normally if there's a breaking low you're going to push through the EMA the fact that EMA held and the channel held as well and this is a second entry short big bearish bar strong momentum again one thing higher reversal down this all happened very quick indicating strong selling pressure second entry short and also continuation of a felt second entry long New high, first entry long, second entry long failure. The felt second entry long is still in place on continuation of that. Even visually, you can treat it as a first leg, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, visual larger legs, market push lower, strong reversal up. But at that point on, market is too close to close and there is no high priority setup. After the uptrend had a break, attempt to create new high, we're still following initial idea to get new extreme. So just because we have a stronger correction, that doesn't mean that the trend will reverse. Okay, sometimes the correction may be stronger. So we're just going to let this correction play out with the break new low. Then we have a push above EMA. And this is still giving us a chance that the market may create new extreme. Okay, so the downtrend played out. We expect new high. But once prices are failing to create new high and they push back below EMA again. And EMA keeps rejecting so many times. This is indication the market may not create new high because as long as this EMA is holding right here, you expect for prices to create new high. The fact that EMA didn't hold, prices push below, already changed the gears and something was different. After that, downtrend played out with a break new low, following the trend line rule. This was quite confusing, no good setup, markets just slowly but surely, creeping higher, creeping higher without any decent to like a pullback, no significant good high priority setup, you just had to witness the slow crawl and eventually a couple of these good setups and notice how the visual to like a pullback combined with the stronger bias and the push above EMA is indicating that this correction played out and the brand new uptrend started.